on this Friday night. I'm Todd Unger. Amanda and Taylor have the night off. The Nebraska Humane Society is looking after four pit bulls thought to be involved in a dog fighting ring. The animals were seized from a Tecumseh man indicted this week. It's the largest dog fighting sting in U.S. history. Fox 42's Megan Euchre joins us now with more. Well, Todd, law enforcement seized about 400 dogs across eight states from Mississippi to Illinois. 28-year-old Julio Reyes of Tecumseh is the only Nebraskan implicated in the case. Prosecu prosecutors say he took two pit bulls to a farm in northwest Missouri, then placed bets on the outcomes of several fights. Caged and scared, yet remarkably well-behaved. These four pit bulls were seized Thursday in Tecumseh, their owner accused of dog fighting. The Nebraska Humane Society says although the pit bulls are mostly healthy, some have old scars on their head, chest, or legs. That would lend credence to the fact that these dogs may have been fought or may have been used to train fighting dogs um, because there is the scarring in the areas that, that dog fighting typically happens. The Humane Society is simply caring for the pit bulls until trial. Experts say while dog fighting is concentrated in rural areas, it is an issue in the Omaha area. We get tips all the time that people are suspecting dog fighting. Um, we have found paraphernalia in homes. We have found um, dead dogs in dumpsters. A wild animal. animal control workers say they're always on the lookout for signs of trouble. We've ran into a lot of cases where we're locating dogs after the dog fights where they've got some very severe injuries where they've had to be euthanized because they were so bad. Signs of dog fighting include a large number of pit bull-like breeds in the same location, including dogs that tend to be aggressive toward other dogs and have scars or visible injuries. Many times owners also force their dogs to run for hours or hang heavy chains around their necks. You know, tools used to train the dogs such as treadmills, ropes hanging from trees that they allow the dog to jump up and they hang from it and that helps the dog to build muscle strength. Well, experts say dog fighting is a very difficult crime to crack because it's so underground and the people involved stay pretty closed-lipped. Humane Society does offer big bucks for information that leads to a dog fighting arrest and recovery of the animals involved. All right, Megan, so what about the dogs in this particular case? I mean, there in the video, they look pretty calm. Any chance they might be rehabbed? Well, you know, the Humane Society says it's really too early to tell, but they are hopeful. They say dogs that go through situations like this actually have... Uh you know, kind of are more, more sociable with humans right. and, and tend to be aggressive with other dogs. They're just glad that they were able to save these dogs before they were seriously hurt or killed because they didn't perform. Sure. All right, Megan, thanks very much for that story. The U.S.